Hey, what's up everyone? This is Matthew and you're watching In the Driver's Seat. And today I want to talk a little bit about anxiety and depression. We've all have experienced some form of depression and anxiety. And I want to also state that I'm not a therapist. I'm not a doctor. These are things that I've personally experienced. My family's experienced things that I've learned through podcast books. Um, so take what I'm saying and research it yourself. Double check me and just take from what I'm saying and not, you know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's get started. So what I want to talk about is very, unfortunately, a lot of people in this world are going through depression and anxiety. And I think the key here is to learn more about this so we can overcome it in our personal lives and to help others whom are going through it or who may be going through it. And so I just kind of want to say one of the things that I've been learning is a lot about the brain and how powerful the brain is. And uh, there's a guy, uh, Dr. Ama, Dr. Eamon, he is a doctor, brain scan guy, and he's done um, thousands and thousands of brain scans, and he's studied them, and he's learned, and he's saying that, you know, a lot of these depression pills, uh, you know, for anxiety, depression, antidepressants, or whatever, now, again, I'm not, I'm not a doctor, and this is kind of what he's saying. I'm not saying this is everything. I've been on Prozac myself. Uh, when I lost my mom, I was going through a very low time in my life. I didn't really want to go out. I stayed in my room. There's a lot of things. That's a um, time in my life that was really hard. I was very close to my mother. But um, he was saying that there's studies with some of these antidepressants that they're just as effective as a placebo effect. Meaning that if you had a group of 100 people, 100 people and 50 of them took an antidepressant and 50 of them, 50 of them took uh, like an a empty capsule or capsule of sugar or something like that, not the drug. Basically, your mind in the study, 50%, how am I saying this anyways? What I'm saying is people who took the placebo pill got better because it was a mentality that I'm taking something to get better and just the power of that thought helped them. Now, again, I'm not saying that you should not take antidepressants. I do feel that in some situations there's a chemical imbalance and we do need to take some pills to help us get through the time, uh, maybe for short periods of time. Also, make sure you know all the side effects and everything that you're going to, um, whatever pill you're taking, just know the ins and outs of it, and not to fully trust and rely on the doctors because doctors are humans, doctors make mistakes. So with that being said, Dr. Amon, Amen. I'm probably not saying his, his name right, but uh, he has a book called uh, Change Your Brain, Change Your Life. And a lot of it is just your mindset, um, eating right, the chemicals that we live in, this world, the air. I mean, there's just chemicals all around us and negativity all around us. The easy access to negative news just through our social media and... There's just a lot of negativity and things affecting our bodies and our brains, our thinking. And uh, it's a lot of good stuff in there. And uh, with the brain scanning, he kind of uses the two together. Um, so with that being said, there's another guy named uh, Prince EA. And it's Prince with an actual EA at the end. His name is Prince EA. And he's got a lot of good content on uh, social media platforms. Uh, I would check him out. He's got some good stuff out there. But um, basically, he's got this method that he's come up with called Smile Mindful Breaths. And what it is, is basically when you smile and 
you focus on a smile, you're, you're focusing on the smiling process. And I guess the muscles in your, in your face, your, your mind's thinking, okay, I'm smiling because I'm happy. Why am I happy? Why am I happy? It's kind of like tricking your mind because when you smile, you usually smile when you're happy or uh, something's funny and it, it triggers uh, your brain to think you're happy. Um, so smile, mindful breaths. Mindful meaning when you're smiling, think of something that you're grateful for. Um, think of gratitude and focus on something positive in your life. Um, he used an example was your heart beats. It, it beats constantly. You don't have to think about it. When you go to bed, it still beats and just be grateful for the little things um, that are healthy in your lives, your friends, your family, whatever it is, just try to think of something while you're smiling. And then lastly, your breaths. Um, I don't know how many of you guys have heard of uh, um, calm down, breathe. So when you get really excited or you're very stressed and someone will go, calm down, calm down, breathe, breathe, focus on your breathing. Um, your breathing is a big part of this process and the consuming of the air for your brain, the all the scientific um, cells, things that go into it. Again, I'm not a doctor um, and they go more into detail with that uh, area in the process. But basically, when you're smiling, this is the process you call smile mindful breaths. Think of something grateful and focus on your breaths. Um, and basically you're going to put yourself in, it's kind of like a meditation state. And he says to do this like once a day, you know, on top of that, you know, you also want to focus on the people you're around and you, you can sense negative people and happy people. You, you just know who's happy and who's not. And he has a saying, you can't give away what you don't have. And I think he meant by if someone's not happy, you're, you're not going to get that positive energy from them because they're producing a negative energy. And when you're around happy people, you're going to get that energy from them. So on top of this smile, mindful breaths, focus on being around happy people, uh, positive people, encouraging people, uh, read books on you know, motivation, encouragement, as well as, you know, watch or listen to comedy. You know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, they say laughter is good medicine. Um, another thing here that I've learned is, uh, ice baths, ice showers or ice plunge, which, um, basically, I mean, without, going into detail, there's a lot of health benefits for that as well as it helps you when you're in that state of freezing, it trains your mind. It teaches you how to f transfer that mind into control. And it's kind of a discipline that you can learn. If you take an ice bath in the morning, it, not only does it wake you up, but it's teaching you how to handle the cold in that situation. And he said it's a very good situ um a good discipline to try to do an ice bath, uh, ice shower for just a short period of time to train your body to train your mind that you're in control of your mind. The mind's very powerful and if you can get your mind under control that you are in control of your thoughts and thinking that um will help you um, they do they do also have a study on uh, loneliness and how people that are usually lonely tend to live um, shorter lifespans. So surround yourself with people. Don't be afraid to put yourself in awkward situations because I know people that are usually depressed or have anxiety, even social anxiety, you don't want to be around people. And that's probably the worst thing that you can do. So even though it's going to be uncomfortable, try to put yourself in a social environment with people that are positive. 
Also, find someone that you can talk to about your your struggles, um, getting that off your mind. I know for myself, just talking about your struggles with someone that could just listen to you is so powerful. Um, so just try to create good relationships um, that you can share all this through. And just know there is an end result that your brain can heal. Um, you can overcome depression. You can overcome anxiety. There's a lot of therapy, um, different types of therapy out there for different severities of depression and anxi um, anxiety. So I just want to give people out there hope. There's a lot of wonderful information out there. Uh, you just sometimes you have to seek it out. You have to find uh, the good stuff, the good information out there. And last but not least, there was this. He also said to you know pressure creates diamonds. So a lot of times when we're going through hard um, trials and tribulations in our lives, we don't know at the time like what's going on. But just know that your character is being, is, uh, you're building your character and you're learning and that one day you can go out and help someone who's going through the same situation that you are going through in the present time. Or you're going to learn that next time a situation comes up, you're going to have the information to get over your fear, your depression or anxiety in that moment. And words are so powerful. So be careful on what you say. Instead of saying, I am depressed, say, I feel depressed. Um, same with anxiety. If you're saying, I have anxiety, say, I feel anxiety. And tell yourself that this is not going to take control of my life. So... I hope what I'm saying is uh, making sense. I hope it helps someone out there. If you know someone that is experiencing depression and anxiety, and if there's one thing that I said that could help them, please share and pass this on. And uh, just know that there's people out there. If you want to reach out to me, message me. I'm here to help in any way, shape, or form. Um, with that being said, have a wonderful day. Peace.